Running Aces is now celebrating its 15th season of that live harness racing. And this morning, Shane Wells is in Columbus taking us behind the scenes with veteran driver Jerry Longo, who scored his 3,000th victory earlier this year. Good morning, Shane. If the lens looks a little blurry today, you can blame Major here who just did a little gnawing at the camera. Just a little curious. We are inside the stables at Running Aces, celebrating its 15th year of harness racing, which is something I want to learn a lot more. We're and gonna jog horses. So. I didn't even introduce you yet, Jerry. Oh, all right. Pull you your horses. Me. Jerry Longo, owner, driver, rider, trainer, trainer right. driver, all the things. Right. And you got someone here for us Hoonie, today. But. Hoonie in and we're gonna hook up and uh, give him a little exercise and Shane's gonna uh, ride along with me. This is what I've been told and I've been given a helmet, so I'm ready. But right. before we hop up here, explain what harness racing is. Harness racing is racing with a, with a standard bred race. They are all hooked up to the jog cart or the buggy and then we have the race bike and uh, it's been, uh, it's been a, quite a long time that we've had harness racing. They just get better and better every year and this is uh, my 15th year here at uh, Running Aces and it's a uh, the best track I've ever been on, and I've uh, been on uh, about 50 tracks in my lifetime. What, is, what does a rider need to know when you're harness racing? Well, he needs How is that it, different than being right. a jockey on a horse? Well, it looks like the same. You know, they, you have different strategies for different horses. Some horses like to race on the front end. Some horses like to come from behind. And when you get a driver, uh, tell him what the horse likes to do. He might like to leave and sit in behind a horse, or he might like to just cut it and go to the front but uh, mostly I like uh, horses that come from behind. So basically what you're saying is knowing the horse is, is right. the key right. to it's being essential. successful out right. there. Right. So what about this horse that we're gonna hop on? This horse is well, pretty good horse. On. He's an Australian horse. He come from Australia. They brought him over on the plane and I bought him from a guy uh, Chris Lacuna uh, like uh, two or three years ago and he's uh, done real good. He's won his last three races so He's in with Major, but I don't, I don't know if he can beat Major or not, but we'll see. <laughs> Major Omen is the winner of the Dan Patch, and he's in with him. And uh, He's the one that tried to eat camera earlier, Yeah, too. he's the one that tried to eat camera. Okay. All right. Well, let's, should we hook this thing yeah, up? Yeah, let's hook him up and see what happens. Okay. All right. Oh, and we're off. What do I hold on to? This one up here? Sure. Either one. Okay, uh, races Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday, 7 p.m., free admission, free parking. Back to you guys. 